Hey guys, Tinubu in trouble has Chicago State University record reportedly confirmed he submitted forged certificates to INEC. See explosive details that got Nigerians talking. Hey guys, the Chicago State University has complied with a United States court order by releasing the academic records of President Bola Tinubu to his political rival, Atiku Abubakar. Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the 25th February election, had specifically requested these documents to substantiate his claim of forgery regarding Mr. Tinubu's Chicago State University certificate. This allegation of forgery had been one of the key points raised by Atiku in the legal battle to challenge the election of Mr. Tinubu, a case that was ultimately dismissed by Nigerian presidential election court. Under terror by the court's ruling in Nigeria, Atiku persisted in his pursuit of official evidence to support his claim. His efforts above fruits, bear fruit, when a, a U.S. court in a decisive move directed the Chicago State University to release Mr. Atiku's record within a, a strict 48 hours time frame. This ruling really marked a turning point in the ongoing political saga, potentially influencing the, 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 the course the case of Atiku's apply or appeal of Nigerian Supreme Court, please pardon me. On Monday, the Chicago State University handed over a substantial dossier of documents related to Mr. Tinubu's education at the institution to Atiku's legal team. Among these documents were copies of certificates with certain names, read the dated issues to individuals around the same time President Tinubu completed his studies in 1979. These certificates serve as a pivotal piece of evidence in the ongoing disputes. Furthermore, the release record included Mr. Tinubu's admission document offering detailed insight into, the, into his academic journey. A critical piece of evidence surfaced in the form of a letter dated 27 June 2023, confirming Mr. Tinubu's enrollment at the Chicago State University. According to this letter, President Tinubu attended the university from August 1977 to June 1979 majoring in accounting. His academic journey accumulated in prestigious culminated in the prestigious award of Bachelor of Science in Business Administration with honors on 20, 22nd June 1979. This revelation has sparked widespread interest and discussions within the political landscape of Nigeria. The release of these records not only evidence clarity regarding President Tinubu's academic background, but also release pertinent questions about the role of educational qualifications in the country's political arena. As Nigeria prepares for a new chapter in its political history, the significance of this disclosure cannot be overstated. The latest development serves as a reminder of the intricate intersection between politics, legality, and transparency. The unfolding event will undoubtedly shape the narrative surrounding the upcoming legal proceedings, adding layers of complicity to an already contentious political atmosphere as the nation eagerly anticipates the next step in the 
highly checks legal battle. The spotlight remains firmly fixed on the evolving political landscape, where each revelation has the potential to define the course of the nation's future. David Ondaye, reaction to this, confirmed that Bola Metinubu presented fake Chicago State University certificate to INEC. He said the certificate Bola Tinubu presented to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in Nigeria, to run for the 2023 presidential election is fake and is different from what the Chicago State University issued on the same year he claimed to have graduated. Hmm. Nigerians, this is where the problem is now. Because when you look at the two certificates critically, we can understand that the one President Bola met Nubu, you know, is uh, the one he, he, he actually submitted to Nigerian INEC. He's different from what the Chicago State University released. And talking about the gender, you can also recall that President Bola Metinubu was really very, you know, curious about the gender. He said the Chicago State University, if they want to release the statement of, re uh, of result, they should do. But the gender, no, they shouldn't touch that. But surprisingly, the one the Chicago State University, you know, released, I'm talking about a certificate, have female gender. So the question is, which one? is the forged certificate and which one is not this is a problem and this is really causing controversies everywhere in nigeria so guys let's hear from you kindly share your thoughts below the comment section please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not thank you